What's going on, guys? Back at it again. Uh, so in between the last video now, I spent around 15 minutes trying to find this one block here because I know behind this one block there is going to be, oh yes, a Dark Soul. Because there's three more Dark Souls in the, uh, the starting area. And uh, this has got to be one of them. I'm just, yeah, there we go. Level four, baby. There we go. Did we get stronger? Not really. I th In my opinion, getting you getting stronger this game is just like an illusion type of effect. Like it's a placebo. Like it just allows you to charge up the attack for longer, but you're, it doesn't actually do more damage. Like, excuse me, like damage per per second. It probably doesn't do probably doesn't do any more than what you're already like used to. All right, so let's see. I'm thinking first we go here. And open up that one gate we seen through the uh, the other fire pushy block thing. I'm thinking that's probably that's probably our next one, because that's the that's the one that was most recent we seen. Also, I'm just gonna I can't I, I wish I could like quit. I can't tell if I jump a little faster doing this or not. Like I don't think so, but I just kind of think it would be funny if like like I could uh bunny hop around like it's a freaking quake game or something also i hate how this fucker just like jumps right hate that I, I don't like how the enemy was just able to like pop through that door without it being broken open like maybe the door is not supposed to respawn i don't know but let's see uh okay i don't gotta push it again I'm going to let that fire happen again because I know it's, like, right there. So what will this lead to? I do not know. I doubt it's going to lead me directly to the next temple because that would just be kind of weird having both temples immediately preceding each other like that. But then again, I can't think of, I mean, maybe another part of the asylum. No idea. I'm the Lord of Dead Side. I'm the Lord of Dead Side. For all I know, it might not even be... Oh, is it a new item? Hey, is it a new item I can get? What's this do? Hey, I can crawl up blood falls now. Okay, I didn't. Th I thought I didn't get. I yeah, I didn't think I got that until a lot later on or something. Do I got to equip? Nope. I just automatically have it on me. There we go. Look at this. It makes a nice little green gassy effect. Ain't that ain't that neat? Uh, yeah. So a lot of blood falls in this game, unfortunately. Or at least ones I've seen so far. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, backtracking I can currently do. Also, I don't know what the point of those are. There's nothing. It just immediately leads me to a, cl a, a cliff face or whatever. Kind of weird, but hey, whatever. Just getting a new item is is much appreciated here. Uh, hey, okay, let's see. Can I? Uh, I'm hoping I can just. Hey, made that. I don't know what the hell's on the bottom there, but. Make it in the first tries, always, uh, always, always, uh, preferred. So I was just thinking while I was, uh, okay, so I could have just kept climbing up again, trying to re retrying it. I was thinking while I was searching for that thing, this is going to sound random as hell, but did anybody in the early mid 2000s ever play the original Splinter Cell, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell demo? I I don't have uh, an another door. Are you joking me? There's another one. This one's five. Okay. So I I try to remember that. I think for five you need like twenty something. So won't be getting that. Won't be getting these either. I need the I need the flame bow or something. Flame bow. It's it's F L A M E B E U E or something like that. B A A U E. You know you know how they spell bow or whatever flame bow. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so I was randomly just thinking about the Tom Clancy Splinter Cell demo. And, like, how it's, like, this little area and you get to kind of, like, investigate, like, some stuff. And it's, I don't know. I was just, I was just remembering it. Like, it's this little, like, restaurant, like, Chinese restaurant or something. And you can kind of infiltrate it. And there's, like, I, I remember playing it over and over again because I wanted to see all the cool ways you can, like, mess with the, the NPCs and stuff. Getting in there, you know you know knocking them out or killing them or something but uh 
I, I actually, years ago, I mean, th- this wasn't when the game came out. This was, like, within the last two th- 2010 to, like, 2015-ish or whatever. I bought the I bought it on Steam, and I was playing it on Steam. And, man, that game, uh, I mean, it's not bad, but, man, if... If, if you played the third game, which allowed you to, like, knock out guards, you know, like, you weren't slower than Molasses, it was, like, it really was, like, hard. Because especially one of the problems with the game was uh, your ammo was limited. And if you don't have any ammo and you're not able to just sneak up behind a guard, you're kind of, like, immediately just, like, a little screwed. Because, like, these guards were, like, took no shit. You know, it's, like... The further you went on, uh, the less uh, you were able to like hide. It was it was just like obviously naturally the game would become harder. But uh, man, I I was used to playing uh, uh, Pandora. Tomorrow was a second Chaos Theory. I was used to playing Chaos Theory. Uh, let's try this again. We already tried. I was gonna say that was an incredibly fucked fucketh. Oh, almost made it. Okay, that that's just gonna be a tricky jump. I feel. Um. But yeah, so I remember playing, you know, the third game. The third game's the one I played the most, uh, Chaos uh, Chaos Theory. And in that one, you could literally walk right up to a guard in the dark and smack him in the throat or something, you know, kill him. Meanwhile, um, you know, in the first game, pretty much unless you could perfectly sneak up behind a guard or, like, shoot him in the head with your gun, with which you had limited ammo for, Basically, you were, like, very much kind of always on your toes. It's just kind of like, uh, how did I, how did, 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 where does this go? I don't remember. Is this how I came in, or is this a new area? Okay, I'm not getting a, I'm not getting a little cutscene and all that, so I'm going to assume it's a new area. Oh, yeah, that's got the level four doors, okay. I could go back to the temple because there were some blood falls, but I'm thinking like it's not necessary. I don't. Yeah, it's not necessary. I'll go. I'll, I'll go back when I actually go back to collect everything when I can do everything. Ruler of Dead Side. It was like the, it was the same with the Hitman games. Like anyone who's ever played the first Hitman game. Oh boy, that's all I got. I'm not gonna say anything more than oh boy. Like that game. That is a fucking game. The first Hitman game right there. And I don't mean that in, like, a great way. And even even playing, like, Hitman 2 and uh, Contracts, if you've played uh, Blood Money, you're kind of spoiled on how the game has, like, uh, you know, like, the, the design of everything has, like, ch- like, been improved. Like, for instance, in, let's say, the newest games, the World of Assassin games, you know, 2016 up, you know, Hitman 1, 2, 3, whatever. In those games, you can literally sprint while crouching. In the original series, at least, at least, um, uh, uh, blood, not blood money, uh, silent assassin, you walked so, you crawled so unbelievably slow in that game. It is not hilarious. Like, if an enemy was walking, he would outrun you. Oh, great, we're back here. Great. I feel the shadow man. A vast dark love I find within asylum's darkly thrumming heart. No love of mine, not mine to love. For twisted is the purity of that finer thing, and I should lay my partly living down to free the world from terror's tyranny. You know, have I've said before? If there's anything I love about this game, like, the one thing I love about this game, regardless of anything else, it's just those level kind of, like, overviews like that. Like, how he's just talking about, like, afterbirth and, like, tyranny and, like, love and darkness and all that shit. I, this, that's, like, the best part of, that, of the game, in my opinion, is is that while it's, like, panning over, like, the, the, the parts of the, the level you're going to be going through, that, 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 in my opinion, is the top tier uh, uh point of this game sorry you know like the combat's not great the story is okay the the settings all right and uh you know excuse me the settings all right in a you know it is what it is way but man if there's anything i love about this game it's just it's just the way he's like talking about like 
it's kind of I, I don't know if i'd say it's poetry or just like siloquies or whatever like but it's just like a whole thing it's like I, I i can't describe why i love it so much but i just love that i just love the dialogue it's just uh it makes a, a game it, it makes a game that probably most people would have been like whatever with uh, you know like just love it even more and also, so I'm going to assume since now I'm back in the asylum, I'm basically on the the hunt for even more Dark Souls to get to level 5 so I can open some gates. Okay, you guys need to actually die because I'm targeting like three guys at once. I really hate the fact, the idea of death animations like this. Like it's such a, dude's like actually stutter stepping me. I, I hate the fact that the, like all the enemies, like you have to like, get him in a death state and then just like hit him one more time and also am i am i oh okay i was like where the hell's the rope at uh i i still have no idea how to manually turn myself around without uh the game just doing it for me yeah i have i have no idea so i'm just gonna walk backwards i guess backwards up an inclined rope so uh yeah that's that's pretty neato. Uh, where does this lead? Oh, of course, of course, there's an enemy right there. Why would I expect any different? I can hear the choo-choo twain. Whoa, okay, that was a graphic glitch and a half. I was like actually a glitch. I was like, did I get turned? Or did I get like 180 somehow? Also, I officially oh, just another one. I officially have over a hundred kado as kado, whatever kazoo. As long as soon as I can get to the temple of life, I can get one more health uh, notch or whatever. I kind of wish this game was a little. Hey, there we go. I don't like I said no idea how many dark souls I'll need to get to level five. But it's something. It's something like twenty something. Got it. Yeah, it's like twenty seven or something. Maybe I don't know. It's like it. it I, I'm not gonna say it doubles every time, but there is a. Whoop, there is a total of one hundred and twenty. So I guess one hundred and twenty spread out over ten levels. Kind of, kind of figure the math out yourself, I guess. What's that? Oh, block I can push. Okay. I was going to say, no idea if there's any shortcuts I'll be uh, opening, but there's I can burn that at some point, burn that at some point. I really can't wait till I get this, because like, the, the thing I'm seeing the most are these freaking burning panel things. But I have a feeling that as opposed to being shortcuts or opening new areas, it's mostly going to be a lot of, uh, hey, here's here's a Kado, or here... Okay, that's where I started. Here's a Kado, here's uh, maybe a Dark Soul, here's Pots or something, I don't know. I, I, I feel like when I do, I finally am able to open these things, I'm going to be disappointed. Also, we are getting on the train, baby. I like how this has got freaking, like, fabric, like, red belt, velvet stuff or something. Uh... Of course, of course there's cages. Why why would there not be cages with these fuckers in them? You know, I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, there's a sniper guy, so... Oh, of course he's like... You know, just, just die, you pig. Here, you die too so I can get the HP. That I can't collect. Great game design. Kadoo, Kazoo, you're my best friend. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. I need the engineer's key or prison key, asylum key. I'm really surprised. Why is there? There's a train. Like there's a monorail system or cage system or whatever, but there's also a train system. That makes, like, real-life train sounds, as opposed to, like, spooky whatever-the-hell-this-is train sounds. 
like it doesn't look steam powered i don't know why it's in dead side so i'd have to assume it's powered by some other like means but here we are also how much you want to bet the train didn't actually move like i'm pretty sure when it was doing that level pan over thing um you could see the train still you could see this the train like still like in the thing hey new new oh which of course there's two of them New, uh, new fast travel point unlocked, baby. Now I don't have to take this train again. Okay, that's one down. You know, you, you, I, I bet people who are might be watching this are like, oh man, these guys are like easy to dodge. How can you not dodge these slow-ass projectiles? I'm telling you, dude, it is not easy. It's more the fact that they seem... They, they, the, the hitbox is larger than it seems. That with the fact that you always can't anticipate where like the bullet will be going like you have you have two of these guys you just don't know and plus they like to get in like close quarters they like to run up to you and fire so it's like you don't really even have that much room to move after that okay that's that guy dead from a distance all right let's see what oh didn't didn't think that was a door uh, of course it's a chainsaw butthole is that a chainsaw guy Okay, you know what that means. Just freaking flame on. Oh, he can attack me through the door. That's bullshit. Like, he actually was hitting me. Okay, this is this is freaking amazing. Okay, he's dead, but I have, like, almost no life. So I guess I'm going to go back and see maybe if there's some more barrels. What what a what an amazing uh little bit of a like thing right there. That that was just a nice you know, actually I could probably just jump in the lava, die, and just restart here and the enemies would still be gone, but Mama didn't raise no quitter. Oh, I was gonna say I'm holding two things, so I was like, yikes. Okay, there we go, got a little bit of health left. Ah oh, boy. Whoop. Back in the asylum. You know, at some point, I will get to go into, like, more real-life locations, like, on Earth. So, yeah, that's something to look forward to. Okay, hopefully there's not another fucking chainsaw guy just, like, right down around the corner here. There's a Dark Soul. There's some more assholes in cages. I can see there's a guy right in that door ready to pop his meat hook in me. Or my. Why can you fuckers attack? Why are you attacking? Oh, uh, I am not getting killed by you fucks. I am not. I am absolutely not having this. Why can these guys even attack? They're like the weakest enemy. They're just like cannon fodder. If any. Oh, hold on. I gotta get the gotta get the HP. And like they're they they literally just wind up an attack animation like with their red hands, and then you just get hit. Uh, what's this do? Okay, that just opens the door, apparently. Hey, guess what? Flame on, piggy. Oh, there's... A, oh, there's... A, you know, I'm not even joking. You just get... You just get flamed on, bro. Just die. Missed the health, but, uh... Okay. If I had to guess, that might have opened both doors. I don't know. This door... I thought, I thought the doors were unlocked, but maybe not. But anyways, yeah, so like I said, Hitman is like, if you played Blood Money first, or you, basically, if you play any of the older Hitman games first, you are, you are basically at such a disadvantage going into the older ones, it's not even funny. Like I said, you, you move slower with every, every game digression. Like, you start, you start with the newest games, you're basically running. You're basically running, um... Uh, does this lead me anywhere? There's a sniper butthole. Uh, it's another sniper butthole. There's probably some... Oh, there's another chainsaw guy. How... Hey, hit, hit, get me now, fuck out. Get fucko. Oh, but there's a sniper guy, so that's, that's amazing, so... Okay, well, he's dead, so... But yeah, like I said, so... It's like... Oh my god, there's like... So basically, if you played, um... 
you know the the newest games you can you can run while crouched you can sprint while crouched and you get you got you, you can get around the game pretty fast and also the way uh, I hit him I guess it didn't count anyway so it's like in the newer games you can basically just run around the map as much as you want as long as you have the right costume or you're not in like a you know restricted area like if you're just in a town square you can you can do whatever the fuck you want basically oh fucking course. I swear, this <laughs> the combat is just such a, a, a oh god! There's one of you two. I know the chainsaw guy should be somewhere around here. It's just like um, so you're walking down, you know, you can you can run up a, basically as long as you're not doing anything super suspicious, you're good. Older Hitman games, at a point, it's like you literally run around like a police officer, and he'll just pull out his, his blicky and start blamming you. I have, what is that thing in this dude's hand? Is it a shield or something? I can't tell. I literally cannot tell what the hell, it, it, yeah, it, like, it seems to explode after a while, so I can't tell. Is it a shield? I do not know, but, so that's the, the one problem. Plus, you had the little bar in the corner that's always going up, like, everyone's like, oh, I don't know, this guy looks suspicious, I, I'm gonna kill him. So it's like, you're just always at, at you know, it's like, you kind of have to, like, naturally avoid enemies even while you have a disguise, because you're just always going to be, like, under, under, like, everyone's suspicious of you at all times. In the newer games, basically, you get it, you get a, you get the right outfit, and basically everyone's like, oh, cool. Okay, I'm just going to yeah, say, there's freaking, like, a bajillion guys here, so I'm just going to freaking... Just, just hit him with the flamon. Like the meat hook guys in a big room like this, they're they're no problem. But why why would it hit the guy behind him instead of the guy who's like literally on death's door? Good lord, look at this. This is like some Benny Hill type shit. Like fucking ooh, play the yakety sack song or whatever. Oh, there's a sniper. I, I'm like, why the hell am I getting hit from something? There's like, it's nobody hitting me. Jeez. And to think, as soon as I freaking fast travel or leave this area, all these fucks respawn. Uh, but there is a Dark Soul up there I can get. I must have hit the Dark Soul cocoon when I was, uh, trying to not get hit by a bunch of dudes or basically kill a bunch of dudes, I guess. But yeah, basically, Splinter Cell and Hitman, those games, you play them nowadays, uh, the older ones, that is. If you grew up with the newer ones, or even e even if you, you did play those ones, they're still going to be, like, freaking tough just to get back into. Alright, so that's a Dark Soul for this area. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Oh, well, there's a cage up there, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything with the cage at the moment. Yeah, get rid of this guy. Um, I'm going to leave that alone, because for all I know, if I pop it, it'll be like, oh, well, guess what? You can't do the thing now. Okay, so yeah, I guess let's go back. Like I said, I'm glad enemies don't respawn when you die, but I hate the fact that they respawn if you leave the game or quit the game and then come back. Very much making it a Dark Souls type of... Uh, thing like instead of resting at a bonfire it's just turning off the game i guess all right with this thing going i should i should be able to shimmy on over i assume if i let the cage hit me i'm gonna fall to the ground so i don't want to do that i think what okay I there we go uh can I get that Dark Soul now? I don't know. Yeah, I think that there's like pipes in the way and I don't know if I want to chance it. But what I think I have to do, I think, is I have to jump up. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, good lord. 
I tried to jump on the thing and he just like freaking fell down. Okay, so I what I was gonna say is I think um there's nothing at the one end of that uh rope, so I think what you do is you like you land on the boxes that are like right to the right there. I can't, I can't show you with the mouse or anything. I think you just land on those and you're kind of like good to go. Because like there, there's nothing on the other side. Like yeah, I think you just get down there and then you hop up there and I think you're good to go. I think. Also, I'm just gonna. Here, can I? There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna let. Oh wait! Oh, the camera. The camera changes that. And also, thanks. Oh, you son of a bitch! I I swear, I'm like okay, so I'm gonna have to do a forward momentum jump. What what happens is he does like the stupidest little hop. I swear, I'm getting I'm getting a little pissed. Though here's the one here's the thing in video games. What pisses me off the most is when it's a very it's a very simple task, and basically I keep failing over and over again for some dumb reason. And it's not and 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 what make what pisses me off the most about it is that I have to keep doing something that is is pretty trivial to do. But like I said, this is also a waiting puzzle, so now I have to wait. I have to wait for this to come here, then shimmy over, then wait for that other one. And it's, I don't know, it's like, ugh. I, I did it the first time, I kind of feel like I should just, if I could, I would just no-clip my way back up there. That That's kind of how it is, like, I would just no-clip my ass back up there, like. This is also just a really awkward position, like, you barely have any room to, like, like, you need to literally be right on the edge to be able to make that rope. Because if you're standing under here, you're going to hit this thing instead of the rope. And that's just not good design. Like, they could have made it just a little bit... They could have gave you just a little bit more... Uh, they could have gave you just a little bit more uh, space there. So now I have to... Also, does that steam hurt me? I do not know. Uh, hold on a minute. A little more. There we go. Okay, only took me like what four tries. Now watch, I'll fuck this up somehow. Oh no, okay, there we go. Jeez, are mine. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think that's it for this room as well. A lot of uh, a, a bunch of enemies to fight with only. Oh, okay. I guess I'm stuck in here until I can uh that thing comes okay I can't hurt we can't hurt each other it's a stand still okay so I think that's it for this little area uh what was back up here again I forget oh yeah this is where I seen the chainsaw butthole at so this will take me to the main thing so okay so I can take this tram which I don't know what that will where yeah let's we, we can come we can come back to this well, no, but if I come back, the enemies, you know, yeah, let's screw, let's just kind of see where this takes me. Wor best case, I get another war point immediately unlocked. Worst case, there will be something I can't do until whenever. Let's see. Just immediately fully charge this. Uh, okay, so no enemies immediately off the bat. That's either... I'm just going to take that as a good sign, I guess. Uh, okay. Whatever that stuff is. Is that you, bro? Come on, slowpoke. Yeah, you see this? Hey, look, there's me and there's Luke. My little brother, I guess. And there's a Dark Soul and I guess some blood or something. Very amateur. Honestly, it's amateur, but it's better than what I think a little kid could actually make. So, this was not made by a little kid. Anyways, I think that's a good ca cutting point for here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching, uh, check out some more. See ya.